Uh, my name is Nick Ziobro. I'm a freshman musical theater major, and uh, yeah. 19-year-old Nick Ziobro's Facebook bio reads, just a regular guy who loves people, fun, and music. But in our opinion, that couldn't be more modest. At 18, most teens' greatest accomplishment is getting accepted into college. But at 18, Nick Ziobro released his debut album. The album, appropriately titled, A Lot of Livin' to Do, features Ziobro's interpretations of classic standards from the Great American Songbook. He croons alongside jazz greats such as Bucky Pizzarelli, Jay Leonhardt, and Ted Firth. The album is available on Amazon, iTunes, and Google Play, and off of his own website. It's rated with six stars on iTunes, but Nick doesn't have time to worry about things like that. For now, he's focused on rehearsing for Ryder University's production of All Shook Up. He's the understudy for the lead, but no skin off Nick's back. Just last week, he performed a two-night show at Lincoln Center with a great American songbook interpreter, archivist, and personal mentor, Michael Feinstein. The concert was a dedication to the legacy of Frank Sinatra, and the Daily Beast muses that Nick could be our generation Sinatra. But hey, don't trust us. Listen for yourself. I won't dance, don't ask me. I won't dance, madam, with you. My heart won't let my feet do the things that they should do. You know what? Nick's mom always knew he'd be a star. I don't know how to do it. You should do. No, I don't. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and J, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. But education came first. College was always part of a, the plan for me and um, for my family, I guess. Because it's really hard to just go out and start to try to make a living when there's um, still a lot to learn. So, you know, I started singing professionally when I was 15 um, and did a couple tours um, and concerts around. And I um, had an album produced by the time I was 17. Despite being pretty famous, he, like everyone else, had to face the challenge of making friends at school. I'm pretty open with everybody about it. Uh, it's not like, a, you know, it's not really like Hannah Montana where it's a big secret or anything. I mean, it's like, it's been pretty easy and all my friends have been all um, really supportive of everything, which is cool. Jazz may be a pretty unconventional choice for a teen, but he was introduced to the music by his piano teacher. He would have the, the music in front of me and I would read it and sing it. And I would do my own interpretation of it before I um, went and listened to anybody else. But the most important thing about it is being able to tell the story of the music because each song has um, an incredible amount of artistry to it and the lyrics and the music together are um, a work of art. A lot of the flack he gets has to do with the fact that the music he sings is about some pretty mature topics for a teenager, but Nick just interprets them differently. 15 year old singing songs about, you know, falling in love and falling out of love is, it seems a little silly, but um, I think as people get older, they forget that being a teenager is some of the most emotional roller coasters of your life. What are you doing the rest of your life? My favorite song to perform is What Are You Doing the Rest of Your Life uh, by Alan and Marilyn Bergman. Uh, it's really hauntingly beautiful and I play it on the piano and sing it on yeah, all my concerts and stuff. So it's one of my favorites. Um, that has kind of stuck with me. After talking with Nick, we have something different in mind for what his Facebook bio should read. I'm a young crooner who like wants to preserve the music of the Great American Songbook for uh, people who are my age because I think it's a genre of music that is um, really articulate and really artistic. Nick is set to graduate in three years, but until then, remember the name. Nick Ziobro.